the Super Fly team is not going to be watching the Wrestling Mayhem show. Please come on down and check it out and have fun. The short of the Wrestling Mayhem crew. That's your instincts, guys. At WrestlingMayhemShow.com. What's up, guys? This is Sorg here, uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com, of course. And on the phone, we have uh, the man, the legend, the Superfly, Jimmy Snuka. How you doing tonight, man? Thank you very much for having me on your show there, buddy. Well, we appreciate you taking out the time to talk with us uh, very much, sir, uh, out of your busy schedule. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. If I, I know here in the area, here around Pittsburgh, we've seen you on a couple of shows in IWC. We've seen you on, uh, on WrestleMania uh, a few months ago, what's Jim, what have you been up to lately? Well, I do a lot of independent shows uh, every weekend there, but I, you know, it's like this one here when I'm coming to Chicago, and, you know, that's what I do mostly every weekend, but uh, we, we we got a few fans that uh, put some questions in for us, if you'd like to answer a couple of them. Um, okay, I, I'll just give it a try, but uh, All right, man. Uh, one question. Let's let's go down to the beginning. Like you're, uh, of course, you're you, you come from a, a, a big wrestling family. Everybody knows you're you're related to The Rock and Rikishi and a lot of others in the wrestling. What what made you decide to get into the wrestling? Is it because of the the family being in the business, or or how did that come up? Well, actually, uh, you know, I was a bodybuilder in Hawaii, and uh, this guy uh, he, he told me to come and work out at his gym, and his name was Dean Gucci. He was former Mr. Hawaiian Islands, and uh, so I was training at his gym, and uh, you know, to prepare myself for a Mr. Hawaiian Island contest, you know. Mm-hmm. So the whole thing boils down to that. Uh, this is where all the brothers from the state they come down and wrestle in Hawaii for like two weeks, and then they leave Hawaii to go to Japan and wrestle in Japan for a couple of weeks. And they come back to Hawaii and then rest up a couple more weeks and they go back to the mainland and um this is how I really got involved in it and uh you know, because of all the professional wrestlers they wanted me to get into it like right away. I said, Brothers, uh you know, give me a give me a chance and let me you know, see if I can win this Mr. Hawaiian Islands then uh then I'll be ready to go, but uh, so, uh, and of course, you know, you've had a long story career. Um, uh, what, one of our fans, uh, Sean Brayfield, uh, writes in, uh, he, he also asks, uh, uh, what is your, uh, favorite match? What, what was your favorite guy to work against? You know, I mean, what was, what was the, the greatest, uh, heated match that you, you know, you just loved when you think back to? Well, I, uh, you know, I love them all. You know, I have great <laughs> matches with everybody. But, uh, you know, Roddy Piper, when he hit me with that coconut, it really set it off, but, uh, I did notice on your website, there's a, there's a, uh, a, uh, Roddy Piper, there's a game to, uh, throw, uh, take out Roddy Piper. <laughs> yeah, he's a character, bro, but, that's right. um, that's where it all started, though, bro. That's right. You know, when he, when he hit me with that coconut, uh, everything exploded. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. So, so you haven't been afraid of coconut since then, have you? I mean, that hasn't uh, affected affected that, have, has it? Well, brother, now that you bring it up, you know, it uh, kind of giving me a little bit of headache, you know, to the <laughs> right, to the left, you know. But definitely. Other than that, it's okay, but I'm the superfly is always feeling pretty good. Excellent, excellent. Uh, now, I I remember personally, and so does the Riz that wrote in. That's from up here around Pittsburgh. Um, I, I remember your uh, long story feud with uh, uh, Don Morocco uh, in the in the mid '80s, and of course there's there's the the famous the famous thing where where uh, you were on top of the cage uh, for the first time uh, taking that dive on the Don Morocco. Uh, uh, Riz asked during your, that that cage match, what went through your mind when you were on top in front of all those fans at uh, at Madison Square Garden uh, about to take the dive? Well, Bruno. You know, it was my uh, first time to, you know, dive off the cage match in Mansion Square Garden. Um, I know it was on national white TV, but uh, and I just, because uh, I already knew that we was going to have a cage match, so the whole thing was going through my mind was, you know, I used to be a cliff diver. 
<laughs> no vero. And uh, that's where I got my uh, superfly from, is doing, you know, cliff dives into the, in, you know, into the river, you know. And uh, I mean, I was so excited about it. Um, I mean, it was national-wise. I, uh, I loved it. Uh, the sound of the people, uh, the crowd, and those that were watching on TV and everything. You know, I just had to take advantage of it because it was on national wide TV. Mm -hmm. But when I climbed to the top of that cage, but uh, you know, I just felt this great spirit. You know that um, everything was going to be lovely, and gave them the "I love you" sign, and you know, thank the fans so very much for you know, their kind heart and their support. And you know, you always got to. You know, uh, understand and learn that it's always nice to give something to the people that, you know, they don't forget you, but, um. Excellent. And now, and I've heard reports that, like, I think as many as, like, four wrestlers that that also became big were, were sitting in the audience that night, like Tommy Dreamer, uh, Mick Foley, uh, Bubba Ray Dudley. Uh, how's it feel, you know, just to be an inspiration to those fans from something you did? You know what, but um, I love it. I love it so very much because, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm like a missionary, just kind of do my missionary work, but, uh, and for people to watch me do things like that is, is teaching them that, uh, you know, it's possible that it could happen, and it could happen to you, you know, if you want to become somebody, professional wrestler, or whatever kind of sports you have to you know, have a, a very sincere heart about this and be honest to yourself about it, and right. and the rest of it will come along slowly, you know? And now you call yourself a, a missionary. So, so can we call you a missionary from the Church of Superfly, then? You bet, brother. <laughs> Sounds good. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah, we, have, we have a few more questions here. Oh, well, the dogs are going. <laughs> Oh, good, brother. All right. Um, all right. Um, so, uh, of course, I got a question for you. Uh, of course, I remember you from, uh, you know, you were on the first WrestleMania, several of the first few WrestleManias, I, I believe, like, even up to up six, if I recall correctly. And, of course, uh, you came back this year uh, big time at WrestleMania 25 in a match uh, teaming with Piper and uh, Ricky Steamboat against uh, Chris Jericho. Uh, how how was that? And how does that compare being at like the original WrestleMania to to how big it is now? Yeah, I mean, how, what, what was the experience? The difference between the two? Well, but um, this one was history again. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot duplicate that one. You know, because that's totally uh, a different point of view to the whole feeling. You know, it's not the same feeling every time. And to be in there with you know. These beautiful guys, I mean, but it was a, it was a blessing. Um, I mean, to, to look at that kind of house and, you know, listen to the people and when they scream and everything, uh, I mean, but it's, um, it's beyond believable. Mm -hmm. And, and that's the kind of trademark that you always want to, you know, get involved in and, um, you know, do something about it and keep it going, you know? Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Um, so so who's a bigger thorn in your side, Rowdy Piper back in the day or uh, Chris Jericho this past year? Well, you know, I bet I love them all, you know? <laughs> but uh, Jericho and them came later, so, you know, we the old school guys, you know, just... You know, trying to take care of responsibilities and, you know, all these younger kids, they come up later and, and learn, you know, and, uh, you know, but I love it. You know, like I said, you know, we're old schools and, you know, we teach the, these younger kids that's coming up, you know, the psychology of our business. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, now, speaking of the kids coming up, of course, uh, we, we recall seeing in the last few years uh, your son, uh, Sam Snuka, also known as Deuce, for a while in WWE. Uh, we know uh, he's been out of WWE for a while. Uh, is he is he still a wrestler? Are we going to see him around someday? We're, we're definitely looking forward to it and enjoyed his work here around on, on the Mayhem Show. 
Well, he's doing, uh, you know, he's still working out, doing some independent shows. He's getting ready to go to Japan. Excellent. You know, to go wrestle over there for a little bit. And then uh, when the WWE decides that they want to bring him back, and, you know, he'll be back there, brother. Excellent. We're looking forward to it. Might we see a... Uh... Uh, uh, Jimmy Snuka and Jimmy Snuka Jr. Uh, uh, team up here in the future? Or, or has it no, already brother, How did I know you was going to say that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know, but I, you know, we just got to keep playing and, uh, you know, make sure that, uh, the man's dream will come true and so is ours, you know? Excellent. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Well, we're, we'll, we'll still hold out for that one and we hope it's going to happen somewhere around Pittsburgh here for us. <laughs> Well, as long as we keep our prayers going, you know, and talk to the man up there and ask him for strength and help, and hopefully things will work out right for all of us, brother. Mm-hmm. So, um, that's another question. Do you, do you watch wrestling like today? Are you are you keeping up with what's going on? I know there's so much. It's like it's on every day of the week. But there's a, is there, are, are you keeping up with it? And is there anybody in particular that's sticking out? I watch them all, you know, and mm-hmm. see what's, uh, what's the up and what's going up and what's coming down. And, um, you know, I watch it all the time just to, to see what they're doing, if it's right or wrong. But mm-hmm. uh, I'm really proud of them, you know. I'm proud of all these kids and, you know, what they're doing. And, you know, the promoter Vince McMahon, uh, you know, he's a natural, you know, businessman, got it from his father, and I I love it, brother, and um, I still enjoy all these, you know, programs that's going on, and, you know, wrestling, and I love it. I, I love it so much. It's still in my heart, brother, and that's why I'm still doing the super fly around, you know? <laughs> Excellent. Um, also, I was reading on your website, uh, it sounds like you're working on a reality show, is that correct? Uh, yes, brother. Now, how's that going? Yeah, it, it, well, it's a challenge, you know. Uh, you know, people call in to challenge me, you know, to things that don't matter what it is, you know. I just want to have fun with the fans and, <laughs> you know, just let them know that I'm not only wrestling, but I love to do other things, you know, to keep myself going and try to stay healthy and, you know, just, uh, Keep uh, keep the ship fly flying, brother. Excellent, excellent. Um, and, and it says on the site that you're going to be working uh, nine to five jobs at places you never expect. Ah, uh, it's okay with me, brother. That's the <laughs> challenge that I love, you know. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, um, well, uh, of course, coming up. Uh, 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 Saturday, October 3rd, you're going to be in uh, Clearfield, Pennsylvania here with the International Wrestling Cartel, uh, IWCWrestling.com, for Clearfield Ca- Cataclysm. Uh, now, you're facing a guy from uh, from around here, actually from up in Cleveland, called J-Rock. He's been running his mouth about you uh, back at No Excuses. Um, what, what do you got to say about J-Rock? Uh, what's, what's you, what do you have in store for him? Well, you see, but I'm not that kind of type of man that Worrying about what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. The question is, is that whoever it is better worry to himself because, but I'm just coming in there to have fun, and if you cannot have fun, then we'll find out how it's gonna end. You know. <laughs> Excellent. So J Rock, J Rock, better watch out, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, well, you know what, brother. I'm looking forward to it, you know, and, um, you know, I just want to tell all the wonderful people in Chicago, um, you know, and all around the areas, around the world, whatever is that, I'm coming there to have fun, brother, and enjoy the fans, and get to, you know, because I'll be doing autographs, and get to meet them, and, you know, especially the little kids that love to bring their parents around, and... Mm-hmm. You know, and I love that, brother. That's my, uh, you know, that's my love for these wonderful people that uh, put you where you at. You know, bro. Excellent, excellent. Uh, well, we won't keep you too long. Uh, is there anything else? Well, what's coming up with Jimmy Snuka? What, what's what's coming up in the future? You want to let the fans know about? Are there any other shows where we're going to see you around? 
Well, brother, the Superfly is always wrestling every weekend. Uh, wherever the phone calls from, that they want me to come and be raising funds, and you know, uh, that's my that's my love for you know what I do. And I just want to let them know that I love them, and I'm looking forward to be there tomorrow night. And um, you know, let's tune it in and let's get all our uh, you know hot feelings out and go home happy. Excellent. Uh, well, thanks a lot, Jimmy. Of course, uh, you can te- check Jimmy out and what's he's do- what he's doing at uh, JimmySnooka.com and, of course, that show, IWCWrestling.com in Clearfield, Pennsylvania. Uh, thanks a lot, Jimmy, for being with us. You know what, brother? Thank you very much. Tell them that I'm looking forward to the fans and looking forward to you guys. And uh, God bless and keep up the good work, brother. And thank you for having me on board.